What do you think about having a humanoid robot that can clean your house, mow the lawn, do your laundry, haul things around, and even go shopping for you? Sounds pretty awesome, right? Especially on weekends when the last thing anyone wants to do is get stuck doing chores. It's just boring. That's exactly why Elon Musk is working on the Tesla bot. And honestly, this could be even bigger than electric cars. In fact, if Tesla bot hits mass production next year, it could become a money-making machine. Unlike Tesla's electric vehicles that mostly sit in parking lots all day, these robots will actually be working. Even better, they'll be making you money by taking care of tasks for you. Sure, Musk has said that Optimus, the Tesla bot, will have some bugs to work out. But just how bad are these glitches? Is it still safe if something goes wrong? Let's dive into that and find out. Oh, and by the way, you'll even be able to walk right up to one and have it serve you drinks at the bar. When most people think of a humanoid robot, many of us, myself included, picture a futuristic world where robots handle all the tough, dangerous, or just plain boring tasks we don't want to deal with. I mean, who hasn't fantasized about having a robot that cooks, does the dishes, and handles the chores? Sounds like a dream, right? But at the same time, a lot of folks are nervous, worried that these robots might steal human jobs, or even worse, take over the world and turn us into their servants, just like in every sci-fi movie we've ever seen. Then there's the group that just thinks humanoid robots are awkward, slow, and kind of ridiculous. Basically, a bunch of overpriced scrap metal trying to walk straight. People joke about them walking like a drunk guy trying to find his way home. And honestly, they're not totally wrong. A lot of humanoid robots today still struggle to show they're really useful in the real world. Some look so awkward, it's hard not to be skeptical. But have you noticed something over the past couple of years? Things have changed a lot. Not just small improvements, but huge leaps forward. Two years ago, it was mostly just Tesla Bot and Boston Dynamics Atlas going head to head. But now, this isn't just a two horse race anymore. It's turned into a full on tech war, with dozens of heavy hitters from North America to China jumping in. Now, we're not here to say that Tesla has the best or most advanced robot out there, but we do believe Tesla Optimus has the most potential to actually make a difference in people's lives. And it's also one of the most accessible humanoid robots around, priced low enough to make owning one a real possibility for more people than ever before. You'll probably be able to get an Optimus for around $20,000 to $30,000 in the long run. The reason most humanoid robots today don't quite fit into the real world is because they're not mass produced. We often hear sensational news about new robots doing some amazing things, but then they just fade away like they were never even there. That's the reality of humanoid robotics for most companies. They're just fancy prototypes stuck in labs, never really making it into the real world. But Tesla is changing that. Not only are they mass producing humanoid robots, but they also brought 50 Optimus bots to a major event where people could interact with them in person. The funny part? The event was actually supposed to be about launching Tesla's new fully autonomous robo-taxi, the Cybercab. But guess what? The spotlight shifted to the robots. People gathered around Optimus, not the car, showing that Tesla bot isn't just hype. It's breaking the stereotype that humanoid robots are useless or boring. Optimus is already showing it can handle tasks you'd actually want help with. It can receive and inspect packages, serve drinks, fold clothes, charge your EV, clean your kitchen, water your plants, carry heavy things, play games with your family, dance, and even answer your questions. And here's the kicker. Tesla accomplished all this in less than two years. Their progress has been so impressive that even Boston Dynamics, one of their biggest competitors, had to give them props. The Tesla team is making great strides. In just one year, they've built a couple of machines from scratch, and that's remarkable. They're shining a spotlight on the importance of this technology, which we've been advocating for decades. And in doing so, they're helping everyone push the field forward. Thanks to recent advancements in AI, robots are doing things that seemed impossible just a few years ago. So who knows what the future holds? To put it simply, AI is making robots smarter. And in turn, humanoid robots are the ones actually bringing AI into the real world. 
Think of it like this. AI, like ChatGPT, can give you a killer recipe, but it's not going to roll up its sleeves and cook dinner for you. You're still on your own in the kitchen. But imagine if that recipe was inside the brain of a humanoid robot like Optimus. Now, that's a game changer. The robot could walk right into the kitchen and cook everything, from breakfast to dinner. Elon Musk has made it clear that what makes TeslaBot different from other humanoid robots is its brain. Tesla doesn't just have some typical robot brain. They've built a real, functional brain inside their bots. This isn't just any AI. It's AI that's designed to work in the real world. Musk says Tesla is leading the way in real-world AI, taking everything they've learned from their electric cars and applying it to Optimus. They're also tapping into their expertise in electric motors, batteries, power electronics, and structural design. Plus, Tesla is great at manufacturing, which gives them an edge over other companies. What Tesla has that others don't? A real brain inside their robot. It's like the Wizard of Oz, the magic behind the curtain. In just the past two years, Tesla has proven it's not only great at making electric cars, but also at leading the charge in real-world AI. They've developed an AI system that controls self-driving cars, which, as Musk puts it, is basically a robot on wheels. Now they're just adding legs to that robot. That's how Optimus came to life. By using the same resources they already have in their EVs, like batteries, drive systems, self-driving software, and gearboxes, they've been able to build robots at a lower cost than most of their competitors. However, there's one truth that can't be ignored. Making millions of Optimus robots is no easy feat. Even though Tesla has a lot of the parts already in-house, building a humanoid robot is way different from putting together an electric car. Fitting all those components into a human-sized robot has to be super efficient. Otherwise, you end up with a clunky robot, or worse, a robot that moves as awkwardly as someone trying to find their way home after a long night. Tesla plans to roll out Optimus next year, and Elon Musk has confirmed that they'll start production with 5,000 robots, roughly 100 robots per week. It's not a huge number, but it shows that Tesla is officially on its way to making this a reality. Tesla has officially kicked off large-scale production, and what's truly impressive is how quickly they can ramp things up. Think about the Cybertruck. At the start of last year, Tesla was only making a few hundred units per week, but by the end of the year, they were cranking out 3,000 a week. And let's not forget, the Cybertruck is a pretty complex vehicle to produce. If they can achieve that with the Cybertruck, there's no reason they can't use the same strategy for Optimus. Elon Musk has said that by 2026, Optimus production could hit anywhere from 50,000 to 100,000 units. And by 2027, that number could jump to a whopping 1 million. It sounds like a bold plan, and we can't be totally sure it'll come to fruition. Musk is known for making ambitious projections. If those numbers seem a little over the top, we wouldn't be shocked. But one thing's certain, Tesla's production is going to soar next year, and we're willing to bet on it. As Musk put it, assuming things go well, we're looking to 10x that output next year. Our goal is maybe 50,000 to 100,000 robots in 2026, then 10 exit again the following year. 500,000 robots in just three years. One of the standout features of Optimus is its ability to understand human expressions and body language. Optimus can recognize human intent through gestures, like when someone points or gives a signal. This makes interactions much smoother, especially for users who might find it difficult to speak. They can still use simple gestures to give commands or make requests. And if that wasn't cool enough, you'll be able to customize Optimus's personality and voice. Over time, the robot will learn your preferences and even anticipate your needs. You won't even have to say much because it'll just understand what you want. For example, it can watch a video of someone doing something and then learn how to do it just by watching. Imagine this. If Optimus could really understand human emotions, Picture this. You point at the fridge, and it instantly grabs you a beer. Or, if you rub your stomach, it knows you're hungry and goes to grab something for you. Even crazier, if you look tired or stressed, it might come over and give you a massage. How amazing would that be? 
Elon Musk emphasized that Optimus is designed to get better at understanding human needs and emotions, making it more intuitive to interact with. Optimus is smart enough to learn tasks just by watching a video, without needing to be directly programmed. Imagine showing it a cooking video, a piano performance, or even a magic trick. Yeah, it could learn from that. Of course, it might be a little clumsy at first because it needs to practice those actions a few times to gather enough data. But this is a perfect example of AI learning, especially using deep learning techniques. While it might have a few bugs at the beginning, it's still going to be incredibly cool. You'll definitely want to invite your friends over and say, check this out. Now, of course, a brand new product like Optimus isn't going to be perfect right off the bat, especially since it relies on real world user experiences to improve. Elon Musk has even admitted that Optimus will have its share of bugs. So what kind of problems could pop up? One issue could be it misunderstanding commands. Imagine you ask it to grab food, but instead it brings you an empty plate. Something like that could definitely happen. Since Optimus relies on an internet connection, there's also the potential for connectivity issues. If the connection drops, the robot might lose access to its systems and data, which could cause it to malfunction. And then there's the challenge of stairs. While Optimus can climb up and down stairs, it's still a tricky task. It needs perfect balance and precise calculations with each step. Otherwise, it could trip or fall. So, it's definitely a work in progress, but all of these bugs are expected to improve over time with software updates and ongoing tech upgrades. Elon Musk has also emphasized that Optimus will have the ability to self-correct while operating. A great example of this happened when the Tesla bot dropped a battery cell from its tray. Instead of needing human help, it immediately reorganized everything by itself. Building a humanoid robot that can do things humans do is no easy feat. Musk explained that Tesla's new arm has 22 degrees of freedom instead of the usual 11, and the hand itself is a huge part of the engineering, probably half of all the electromechanical work in Optimus. While most of Tesla's competitors are focusing primarily on AI, they're bringing a lot more to the table with their engineering expertise. Optimus's hands are one of its standout features, and Elon Musk has emphasized just how crucial they are in the robot's development. In fact, nearly half of the electromechanical engineering work went into designing its hands. This is a huge step forward in recreating human dexterity in robots, allowing them to perform precise tasks like picking up a cup, folding clothes, or even playing the piano. It's not just a technical challenge. It could change the game for how humanoid robots are used in everyday life and industrial settings. The new version of Optimus has 22 degrees of freedom in its hands and forearms, double the 11 degrees in the previous model. Musk explained that at first, Tesla engineers tried packing lots of actuators into the hand to give it strength, but that made the hand bulky and unnatural. So they moved most of the actuators to the forearm to keep the hand more realistic. What's really impressive is that most other humanoid robots only have hands with five or six degrees of freedom, and many don't even have all five fingers. Instead, they often use two or three fingers or claw-like pincers, which really limits their dexterity. Optimus, on the other hand, has incredibly detailed, lifelike hands with all five fingers, each with different lengths, just like a human hand. Musk pointed out that the reason human fingers are different lengths is because it allows for finer control. Optimus's hands are designed to do both forceful tasks and delicate, precise work, just like ours. The human hand is one of the most complex structures in nature, with 27 degrees of freedom, which lets us do everything from gripping and pulling to writing and playing instruments. Replicating that in a robot is a huge challenge, and it's not just about making the hands look like ours, it's about making them work accurately and responsively in real world situations. The new Optimus, with its 22 degrees of freedom in the hands and forearms, is already in production and is learning to walk and even catch balls. Pretty amazing when you think about how far it's come in such a short time. Optimus has quickly gone from an idea to one of the most advanced humanoid robots on Earth. The hand isn't just another mechanical part, it's a symbol of the incredible advancements in robotics. With its ability to perform basic tasks and take on more complex ones, 
Optimus is shaping up to be an essential part of daily life. Imagine a future where robots like Optimus assist with everything from household chores and elderly care to precise medical work and scientific research. With the potential to replace or assist humans in repetitive, dangerous, or high-precision tasks, Optimus could become one of the most highly anticipated robots in the world. If Tesla manages to successfully commercialize Optimus, it could completely change the way we live and work. Picture a world where robots handle physically demanding tasks in factories, homes, and hazardous environments. This wouldn't just cut down on labor costs, it would also boost productivity and improve the quality of life for everyone. On a larger scale, Optimus could be a major revenue driver for Tesla. Elon Musk has even suggested that it could help Tesla reach a $25 trillion market cap. While Tesla's EVs might not be the only thing pushing the company toward that huge valuation, Optimus could be the key. When it comes to electric vehicles, there are plenty of options. BYD, GM, Ford, and Volkswagen are all competing in the space. But if Tesla rolls out humanoid robots, there may be no competition. Optimus could kickstart an entirely new market for personal and industrial robots. And with Tesla's expertise in AI software and large-scale manufacturing, they could dominate this space just like they did with electric cars. Optimus isn't just about making cool robots, it's about Tesla proving they're a next-level tech company, far beyond just making cars. This will not only attract more investors, but also make it clear that Elon Musk's AI-driven future isn't just some sci-fi dream, it's already happening.